Trams are a major part of Melbourne's transport system, transporting thousands of commuters and tourists every day. Efficient and timely transport systems contribute to making Melbourne one of the world's most livable cities. An average tram in Melbourne is 23 metres long and weighs 35 tonnes. If a tram is travelling at 50 kilometres an hour, it takes 60 metres to stop. This is almost 10 car lengths. One of the main causes of crashes between trams and cars is when motorists underestimate the distance and speed of trams and make U-turns in front of trams approaching from either direction. Even if a tram driver manages to avoid a collision by applying the emergency brakes, injuries can be sustained by tram passengers falling inside the tram. For the safety of motorists, other road users and tram passengers, it's recommended that U-turns are not made over tram tracks. However, if you must make a U-turn across tram tracks, please wait outside the tram tracks for a break in the traffic and make sure no trams are approaching from either direction. When travelling behind or alongside a tram, be aware of tram stops and trams slowing down to pick up or drop off passengers who you might not be able to see. Many tram passengers face the hazard of being hit when attempting to get on and off a tram because motorists fail to stop at tram stops. It is illegal to drive past a stationary tram without first stopping. Please stop level with the rear of the tram and wait for passengers to get on or off. Once passengers have cleared the road and the tram doors are fully closed, you may proceed with caution at not more than 10 kilometres an hour. This is a part-time tram lane. There are 33 part-time tram lanes in Melbourne. They're marked by an unbroken yellow line next to the tram tracks and overhead tram lane signs specifying the hours of operation. Some part-time tram lanes have additional electronic overhead signage and flashing road markers. You are not allowed to drive in part-time tram lanes during the times shown on the overhead signs. You may use a part-time tram lane to make a right turn or to avoid an obstacle as long as you don't delay a tram. This is a full-time tram lane and it can be recognised by the unbroken yellow line next to the tram track and overhead signs. At some locations, for example Royal Parade and Spencer Street, raised dividing strips have been installed next to the tram tracks to highlight the full-time tram lane. It's illegal to drive over yellow raised dividing strips. Whether it's a full-time tram lane marked by an unbroken yellow line or by raised dividing strips, it is illegal to drive on the tram tracks. You can only enter a full-time tram lane at a break in the raised dividing strips to drive across an intersection or make a right-hand turn, but you must not delay a tram. Before entering the full-time tram lane, you must ensure there are no trams approaching from either direction. Often, taxis and other motorists double park to drop off their passengers. Double parking is illegal. While double parking may be for the convenience of the one or two taxi passengers, it forces other vehicles to drive onto the tram tracks and delay 100 or more tram passengers. Trams reduce the traffic on our roads and allow commuters and travellers to move freely and quickly around the city. To keep our roads safe, Please do your bit by not delaying trams or endangering their passengers. For more information, visit thinktram.vic.gov.au.